Royals in Shock Prince William Admires Catherine's Loyalty and Focus Welcome to the British Royalty in Focus channel, where you stay informed on all that happens in the world of the royal family. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your subscription will make all the difference for us and will make us very happy. We greatly appreciate your support. Get ready, folks, because the Princess of Wales just slayed at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. She was all smiles and elegance as she marched alongside her man, Prince William. And can we talk about her outfit? A stunning blue-green coat dress, killer heels, and a matching fascinator topped off with a golden clover brooch, absolute perfection. But this isn't just any old parade, my friends. The St. Patrick's Day celebration holds a special place in the hearts of the British royal family, especially those associated with Irish regiments like the Irish Guards. It's a chance to honor their heritage and culture while showing support for the brave military members serving in the regiment. And let's not forget the tear-jerking moment when William officially passed the colonel's sword to his wifey. He may be stepping down as colonel, but he couldn't be more proud to hand over the reins to a determined, focused, and fiercely loyal leader like Catherine. And speaking of the new colonel, Kate herself couldn't contain her pride and gratitude for the role. I'm here to listen, stand by you, and support you in everything you do, she said, I don't take this responsibility lightly. They even tweeted about it before heading to the barracks. Kate, who was recently named Colonel of the Irish Guards, kept up with tradition by handing out clover sprigs to officers and guards before the parade. She even decorated the collar of the Irish wolfhound mascot with one. How cute is that? As the new colonel of the guards, Kate showed her respect by saluting during the royal salute and the march at the end of the parade. Afterwards, Kate and William extended their happy day by visiting former Irish guardsmen who are now part of the Irish Guards Association. They even met some adorable little ones, Aoife and Alice, who gave Kate flowers and made her smile from ear to ear. Meanwhile, Prince William inspected the second row of guardsmen, after having been colonel from 2011 to last December. He then posed for some official photos with the officers and sergeants mess. After a full day in Aldershot, Kate and William headed to the mess hall for a meal with some of the lower-ranked members of the regiment. The oldest guard in attendance even made a toast in their honor. Kate has accompanied her hubby to Aldershot many times, but this was her first time participating in the parade as Colonel of the Guards. And get this, it was less than 10 days since her first official visit to the 1st Battalion of the Irish Guards since she became their new patron. All in all, it was a day full of love and honor from the British Royals. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the subject and informative and thought-provoking. Already like, share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos and exclusive content. We will be very grateful for your support. Until next time.